In this video, we're going to review the MakeBlock MBOT 2, and we're going to also add in their Rover add-on feature. So this is a great combination of coding and robotics. I think you're going to be really loving what you get to see here. I know I loved it, so let's check it out. The MBOT 2's packaging is really solid and it gives you some quick insight to instructions and what's going to be involved. But once again, the construction of these parts is quality. The intelligence that's also behind these devices is really backed by a lot of open source technologies. And as you can see, they provide you with all kinds of parts and templates, all well packaged and ready for you to start to assemble. Assembling is really easy when you follow the quick start guide. The aluminum chassis with the plastic wheels that feel a lot like Lego type equipment are really flexible. The kit comes with all the tools that you'll need to assemble the robot. So there's no need to go out and purchase anything extra unless you feel like you need to have an extra set of tools. The motors that are included with the kit are perfect for driving these large wheels that will allow the device to move across any kind of surface, well, to a certain degree. But the rubber coating of the wheels mounted on here do give it a really nice feel. Once the chassis is assembled, now you're gonna to start to bring the intelligence to the device. And the first item here is the MBOT Neo Shield. The Neo Shield is equipped with a built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery that can power the whole device and the CyberPi that you attach to this. Battery life could be about three to six hours depending upon usage and takes about 80 minutes to charge it. The CyberPi is a main control board independently developed by MakeBlock. It's compact and it's got all kinds of built-in ports. So that makes it really extensible. You can connect it to so many other projects. It ties in nicely with the MBlock 5 coding environment. And really it's perfect for many different education scenarios. The CyberPi also provides some other really cool features. Of them being, it is Wi-Fi enabled, so it connects to the internet. It also has Bluetooth capabilities, uh, multiple ports, including uh, USB-C, and it has at the core of it all, a 32-bit dual core extends a microprocessing chip. And one of the things that MakeBlock is really trying to integrate with their new devices is the connection to AI tools. With your device now assembled, you can connect it to your computer where you could then open up and run the coding platform, which looks a lot like Scratch, which is a very popular coding environment for young people and new people to, who are learning code. But also you could see that once you load it up here, you can connect a multitude of devices built by MakeBlock. And these devices all have their own capabilities and features. But what I really liked about it is the environment gives you several different ways to work with the device. First of all being, it comes with a bunch of pre-built code. That means you can take it and you could modify it. A really important feature of this particular environment is how you can download sample pre-built code for your device, but you could look at it here in low code or block coding fashion to learn about it, or even better, you could see this code generate Python the Python programming language. So now you could start to bridge that gap from low code block coding over to line oriented coding, which is more in line with why we write software today. Once you've downloaded or written your code, it's time to push it out to the device. This is also made really easily with the USB connector that goes from your computing device to the MBOT2. Here you'll connect it to the port, click connect, and the code will then go from your computing device to the robot. Once you've downloaded your code to the MBOT2, you can then run it right on the device itself. It's easily done by using the CyberPy menu, where you could also reset the device or restart it. Once you're there, you could see that you have a menu system, and on the menu, you're gonna have access to other programs that you may have already downloaded, and there's also a number of sample programs that you could also use just to demonstrate the device. In this example here, we're just gonna have the MBOT2 follow this black line, making use of the sensors that are provided with the kit. And this is a great example of just seeing what you can do, but it doesn't have to stop here. You can make your own courses, and you could also use colored blocks to vary up the challenges and to help with varying up the challenges, you can make use of the MakeBlock website, which is by far just as impressive as the device. It comes with a full range 
of sections that cover tutorials and lesson plans and downloads. The downloads include the environment where you could do the low code or Python coding, but there's also a number of other features to help people begin to learn or interact with the device. One of them being is a app that allows you to develop right on your smartphone or your tablet and also control the device remotely. I just want to make a comment too here for educators that are out there, whether in the classroom or in the homeschool space. The MakeBlock website is really well done and provides you with a tremendous amount of resources. Resources that you could pick from by age, device, or even their own skill set, depending upon where they are, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. It is a really good resource. All right, so that was the overview of putting together the MBOT 2. Okay, so it's from MakeBlock, and this device is great. I don't want to call it a toy. I want to call it a kit because it has all of the features that a kit would bring. It allows you to build what they recommend, but it also allows you to take it and take it into a different direction that you want to take it in. So you could add things, you could modify things and so on. Between the AI feature and the IoT, the Internet of Things feature with this particular operating system, it's limitless. But also, on the other side, there's a lot of small parts, so it might not hurt if your young person is a little frustrated by those things to stand by to give them a help whenever they're needing it. All in all, this is a great kit for the classroom, at home, whatever you're doing. And also, we'll be looking at here in the next video, we're going to be modifying it with the Rover. So the Rover is a little bit different look, different capabilities, but still a lot of fun. All right. So if you have any questions about this one, feel free to reach out to me and I'll answer them. It's a lot of coolness in a box. See ya.